So I grew up in Taranaki, I'm a Naki girl heart, and I'm the youngest of four kids. My dad, this is cool, because my, if you know Shortland Street, this is cool. My dad is a doctor in real life, and my mum's a nurse. And I played a nurse on Shorty, married to a doctor. Woo, trippy A. I know what it's like to not be with the one you love. I lived in New Plymouth, in the Naki, until I left school. And then I did one year at university, I moved to the big smoke Auckland. I feel like my break in TV was a real right place, right time kind of thing. I was seeing this fella in my hostel at university, and we've been going out a couple of months, and then he dumped me, and I, I was like, oh, so heartbroken. I was like curled up in a ball in my room, just bawling my eyes out for like a week, you know, it was like my first real heartbreak. And my sister was like, I want to cheer you up, I'm going to take you shopping. So she took me downtown, and that's where I met this girl who was working in a shop who gave me a card for a talent agency. Um, anyway, it turns out the boyfriend, this is the best part of the story, is actually gay, and that's why he dumped me. We're mates now, but... <laughs> so I really have the gay ex-boyfriend to thank for my entire career. <laughs> This is my world, this is our brand new set of what now? This is the breakfast crew, you guys are So I was 18 years old, I had to move from Auckland to Christchurch where they filmed what now. I didn't know a soul down there in the South Island. And suddenly, I was doing live TV five days a week. Put on a wig, we put on some makeup and we'd just make up a character and an accent. So it was, it was just so much fun and I learnt so much there as well. I was a dungy man. I think for years I thought because I was a presenter, I knew how to be an actor, but nah. Cliff Curtis gave me this piece of advice. You know Cliff Curtis, though. Um, he said, if you want to be an actor, you have to go and train. So I left presenting. I said, I'm going to be an actor. This is what I'm going to do. So the next year and a half was horrible. <laughs> I was like, bored of red line, just going to auditions. Oh, you know, the self-esteem goes whoosh. Like that, eh? It was a tough time, and if my mum and dad weren't there to help, you know, pay the bills, as they did, which was real cool of them, uh, I don't know what would have happened. But after a year and a half of slogging it out, got the call from Shorty Street. What are you doing? Baby blue. I got some morphine. Right. What's with you today? What do you mean? You head somewhere else. Wake up. Move it. Tenting and acting. Well, yeah, it's just that thing of suddenly I'm having to read someone else's words as opposed to my own. And I ha have to do things that I don't like sometimes. Like my character did some stuff that was like, you know, if she had an appear on TK Man with the white boy, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, so you're like, oh no, I don't want to do that. Every day I walk into ED and there's every mistake I ever made just staring me right in the face. I'm really thankful for having been on Shorty, but I, I just wanted to know what else was out there in the acting world because it is so fast. <laughs> Having spent time in LA, it's such a rad city, but it's it's hard, and I know how difficult to be over there, and you know, kind of, it does crush a lot of people trying to be an actor over there. But I want to go over there and work if the work comes up, but I, actually, this is my home. If it all worked out for me, you know, dream of dreams, I would get the work overseas and go when I needed to, but uh, this is home for me. I think, in the end, being brave enough to pick up that little card I have with that little phone number on it for this talent agency and to ring them up and go see them. It was the best thing I could have ever done. And I can't believe, like, and us Kiwis, we, we tend to be so shy and we're like, no, shame, I don't want to do that. And, oh, people might think I'm being a show off or something. No, nah, man, I could not have done it, you know. I'm so happy I did that, actually. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, because that was the start of my entire career in TV. And if I hadn't called them up, I don't know what would have happened, man. I'd probably be living in a park somewhere. <laughs> <laughs>